Hey guys, um, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be going over my series with AGL. Um, let's get into game one. So, as you can see, I uh, I lead S Cavalier. Um, I brought this team because I thought I had a, had a pretty good matchup versus most of what he would bring. S Cavalier has Overcoat and uh, Smart Strike. Also learns counter, so that's some cool tech. Anyway, he ends up going with Smash Pass, which this team has a pretty fine matchup. You'll see S Cavalier actually just kind of wins me this game. Um, you can't really tell, but anyway, let's continue. So I can just knock off the Aerodactyl as he goes for rocks. Uh, he rock tombs me. I just Smart Strike, so I can KO it. A Smeargle comes out. Um, he already stopped to go for knockoff in case he wanted to switch or whatever. It's just the best play. Uh, he baton passes, I click knockoff here. Um, the thing is, he really can't go into any of his other mons, because I have Ditto in the back, and I can pretty much just imposter them and win the game. So he's forced to go to his imposter proof, which is Arceus Ghost, which takes 42 from knockoff, and then I just toxic it. Now he knocks off the S Cavalier. This Arceus Ghost is a big threat to my team, it's like Judgment Hyper Voice. I'm able to get the defog off with Ho-Oh, and I go into Venusaur. I sack Venusaur as he goes Emray. I end up sacking Ho-Oh here. Um, this was actually a mistake on my part. I thought ho -Oh may be able to tank that. Um, and then I kind of just misplay for a bit more of this. Uh, as you can see, he EQs this. I should have gone Evil Tall because it always lives, and you turned and then gone Ditto. That was probably my best play. Uh, but anyway, he has Defog Emre, which kind of sucks. So I just knock it out um, here. Then he spores me. And I manage to kill, um, which is pretty fortunate because if he managed to smash past um, with Dynamax, this could have been a big problem for me. Um, but I get the one turn wake, so that's pretty good. He really couldn't go into anything besides Dialga, which I would be able to finish off without using my Dynamax, because Xerneas gets one shot. So if I got a normal wake, it really didn't matter. Either way, I was still still chilling. Anyway, so I just go Evil Tall here on the Earth Power. He Dynamaxes. I knock off. I sack Evil Tall. I go Ditto. And that's pretty much going to wrap up Game 1. So the replay for Game 2 actually didn't get saved, but it was 500 turns. Um... It ended in a tie, nobody won. Um, that kind of sucks, because uh, it was, I had a Heatran, it was definitely a very good matchup, but I ho played horribly, ended up losing, which is pretty unfortunate. Um, this is, yeah, this is game three. No, this this one's game three. Uh, I brought a Snorlax, but as you can see, the rest of my team is actually very shit. So let's get right into this one. He leads off with Gengar. I go Snorlax. Um, here it's pretty fucking fine. Snorlax can easily take a Focus Box on Max, but F. This shit is doing like 40. Uh, I have Crunch. Uh, I end up cursing on the Switch because I know he doesn't have Encore if he sub Focus Blast. Um, yeah, he just knocks me off, which is pretty annoying. He goes Zygarde. I Body Slam for big damage. So I know he's offensive from that. Um... I have no attack investment, so 55 at a plus 2 it definitely is offensive Zygarde, so probably D-Dance, Dragon Tail, 1000 Hours Sub, which is pretty annoying, but I do have an Arceus Fairy, which you'll see I do not play well. See, right here, I'm not thinking that he's going to go Gengar, and he ends up actually being Encore, um, which is pretty annoying. I really didn't expect this set. This set is kind of jank, um, but I didn't think he was going to go hard Gengar there. Uh, I think that was a pretty risky play on his part, but it paid off. Uh, so I ended up just sacking this because I really don't need it at that point, and it's not worth wasting my Dynamax because it'll just be able to switch out into like Ho-Oh if I do. Uh, I end up going this. This is also a misplay because he can he has a chance to 3-hit KO me there, and Ice Beam does not kill. But he ends up switching. Uh, at this point, the game is kind of pretty much over. I can't really win except with Snorlax, funnily enough. Um... The world swims me out. Nothing really happens. I knock out the Gengar after I used um, after I Dynamaxed. Uh, this game is still over. I'm re really just not able to 
do anything. I end up hacking the hollow, so he's forced to switch out into dust main here. Um, problem is that Sunsteel does a lot more than a Camadon, and he'll just be able to knock me out, and that's pretty much the game. I'm mixed uh, Life Orb killer. It really doesn't matter. He's defensive dust main anyway. And that is going to wrap up game three. I can't do anything. I do have refresh on this, but like I said, I cannot dent his team at this point. And I end up just losing pretty handily. Um, overall, uh, definitely a pretty poor game for me. Um, I think uh, bringing Snorlax was actually a pretty good play on my part. As you can see, his team really didn't have much answers for it. Like his best, his best answer for this was uh, Detail and Whirlwind. He actually couldn't touch it. Um, I definitely should have uh, made the EVs a bit better and cleaned up the team more, so I didn't just lose to anything that happened. Um, so that sucks, but what can you do? Let's go on to game four, the final game. Uh, neither of us prepped for this, and you can show this. This is a sample team from him, and this is the basic ass team that I bring on ladder that just wins every fucking game. I was 2-0, I believe, up to this point in SSNL. Um so I just brought it again because I know it's my safest pick. Um so he leads off with Mgar. I, I knew he's gonna do that. That's why I led Zacian. Um he wants to get that mega evolution off. Um it's not really that big of a threat to my team, but it definitely can be annoying. So he goes into uh Pedon, I switch out into Evil Tall. I'm able to just um what did I do? Ah, I accidentally reset. Um, one sec. So I just knock it off for 57%. That lets me know he is in fact defensive. Uh, Band Evil Tall is pretty crazy. Uh, so I just U-turn out of there. As you can see, that damage is going to matter later. Um, that chip is definitely very important. Uh, game continues on. We're not really doing anything. Uh, do 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 do. Neither of us are doing anything. Uh, this is originally Stone Edge Ground CS, which pretty much just 6 0s his team. Um, but I changed his Paris song just in case he wanted to bring uh, like a Tom Pass, which would have been very annoying. Anyway, he Brave Birds me. I set up my rocks. I end up going for Stone Edge here because I know he wants to get that Defog off. So I eliminate Ho, which is a big problem for my team. Very annoying mod. Uh, he ends up misplaying very severely here. He goes for Sleep Talk instead of uh, Precipice Blades or Rest. And I'm able to knock that thing out. I crit really doesn't matter here. Uh, by this time, the game is heavily in my favor. That EQ damage definitely matters. You'll see later on. He misses the Dragon Tail here. That's pretty important. Um, it definitely could have influenced uh, the outcome of the game, but I don't think it made him lose, per se. I think I was still in a very commanding position no matter what. Um, so he goes into Ditto here. I'm just hoping that he doesn't freeze. I get off some nice chip on this. I go Dust Main. I switch out into this, and now I'm able to just claim a kill. As you can see, Knock Off does not 2 it KO if I don't get that EQ chip and that U-turn chip. So it's very important that I'm able to do that, or else Psy is able to rest, and that is very annoying for me. So he goes out to Amgar. I don't need this thing at this point. It's done its job. The game is pretty much over. Um, so I knock out the Mgar, and the game is over at this point. He cannot win. Uh, he can't touch my mods. And that is going to wrap up the series between me and AGL. This is certainly a long one, especially with that 500 turn stall game. I ended up having to leave for like two hours um, because I couldn't, do, I couldn't do it at that time. So I only got to play one game in there. But uh, four game series is pretty interesting. This is round six of SSNL. I, I brought some pretty interesting teams, I think. Um, definitely threw them off a bit. That's just what I like to do. This game continues on for a long time. I forgot that I had Parish Song on this. I ended up just fooling around more than I needed to. But the game was over like 20 or 30 turns ago. So uh, that's going to be it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, pretty interesting series. Let me know if you guys want to do more of this, uh, and I'll see what I can do. See you guys later.